finally, I have the missing piece and the world needs to know about it. It's really life-changing work. And just share who I really am and even just embracing who I really am. Life changed so fast. It is truly life-changing. Welcome to our weekly wake up, my favorite place to be with you guys while we really dive into all the things that are holding us back from really creating the life that we want. I don't know if you can hear this song, but a song that has been playing a lot in my life right now is Learning to Fly by Tom Petty. And if you've ever listened to the words to this song, it's really, really poetic. I'm learning to fly without any wings. Learn to fly. I don't got wings. So you're learning to do something, but you're learning to do it different. Coming down is the hardest thing. And so this is a song I've just been loving and the poetic nature of it has been so top of mind for me as we move through this world that is massively changing right now. It is changing so much and we are changing and the world is changing maybe more than it really ever has in a long time. And it can be scary. It can be really, really scary. And so for those of you that are just hopping on, those of you that may be new to our weekly wake up, welcome and hello. My name is Sarah Longoria. I will be your fun host for the next 30 to 40 minutes. And we're going to get out all the stuff that's keeping us from having the lives that we want, right? I mean, how many feel that way that like, Right now, life feels a little bit hard and a little bit wonky and a little bit heavy. And a lot of it is because nobody's taught us what to do with our emotions. And what we have learned about of our, our emotions is wrong. I'm going to say it. It's wrong. It doesn't work. We didn't know what we didn't know. And now we know it. And so now we got to start getting it out. We got to start feeling our emotions. And so this is our space that we come together every week to deal with our shit, to deal with all the stuff you haven't been able to feel, to deal with all the stuff you've been pushing down and finally get it up and get it out of your body so that things start getting better and better and better for you. So I'm so happy to see so many of you joining us. I'm so, so happy for you to be here live with us. If you're watching this on replay or you're watching this on a, one of our streamings that we do on Sunday, I am welcoming you as well. If you are new to our community and new to the technique that we're going to be using on this live, because guys, we are actually going to feel and heal together today. This isn't just going to be me talking. This is going to be true healing and feeling and transformation together live. And if you're completely new to that, realize that in our Hey You Human app, if you're not on our app, come join our Hey You Human app. There's a box at the top that says Rapid Relief Technique Accelerator Course. It is free and it will take you through the three modules to help you understand emotions, what we're doing here, and the technique we're using. So if this seems weird to you, you're like, what is she talking about? Feel free to go and check that out and also feel free to completely stay here with us and do it with us. Like it might be weird, it might be strange. Like I said, the way our world is doing emotions is incorrect. We are being taught things that are literally keeping us from our happiness. And we have cracked the code on it and hey, you human. And now we have been aggressively taking it to the world. We have a beautiful paid membership. If you guys aren't in there, come join us. It's $97 a month. It takes all of this deeper, gives you all the support you need, really helps you move this quicker. If that's not available to you, that's why we do these free ones too, so that you can still join us, still work through your stuff, still grow and evolve and do all of that good stuff. So 
Today, we are focusing on removing the fear of change. And like I said, we're changing. The world is changing. And often we are sitting here asking for so much. I want more money. I want more support. I want more of this. I want to travel. I want this. I want this. I want this. But I want my entire life to stay the same. They don't change anything. Just like add more money to my bank account. Just like send me a trip to go here and just like do this. And like, that's what we want. But you know what? That's not how it works. That's not how humaning works. That's not how humaning works. How humaning works is you got to be the person that's ready for that money. You got to be the person that's ready for that vacation. Otherwise, you're going to get it all. And, And you've seen this happen before. Have you ever seen like a person get a whole bunch of money who wasn't ready for a whole bunch of money? child celebrities, you know, you ever seen anything like that where it's like a train wreck? So we often think God, the universe, whoever it is, we think co-creates this world with us is being like mean by just not giving us all the things we're asking for right now. Right, Nicole? So, so true, right? You took the words right out of my, my mouth. Like, where is it? Just put it in there. Put it in. Just give it to me. But it would be a train wreck. If it was just handed to you, because you're not the person who's ready for all of it. And so we want it to just show up, but we actually have to do some growing. We actually have to do some evolving. We actually have to maybe change some things. You ever heard the phrase, put your money where your mouth is? I feel like that's kind of what happens in the human world. It's like, put your actions where you actually want something to change. Like we often have to kind of do the thing to say like, we're serious about this. Like I really do want this. And often what's stopping us from getting what we want is that fear of change. We are so freaking scared of what could be on the other side. Oh my God. Will it look like this? Will it, (laughs) what's it going to look like? Yeah, exactly. If you're not ready, you lose it all. If you're not ready, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's bad guys. It's not good. And it's messes with your nervous system. And often we push so hard for it that we do end up getting it. And then we're burned out and exhausted and our life is falling apart. And then we're like, oh my God, when I get everything I want, my life falls apart. And so then we're like, maybe I don't even want all of that. Never mind. And part of this is so fueled by the toxic capitalistic world we live in that is like bigger, faster, stronger, go, must have it faster, must have it quicker, must do it. You're going to miss out on life. Don't sleep, just go. And so we think that like, that's how this is supposed to work. If it's not happening super hyper speed for us, something's wrong with us. No, something's wrong with them. It was never supposed to be this race, this chase, this craziness. Otherwise, you fry yourself. And like she said, you lose it all. You get there and then it crumbles because you can't hold it. It was never supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be a beautiful journey of enjoyment all along the way. But... Even if it is enjoyment all along the way, we still often are really scared of what's on the other side. And a lot of this, guys, is because our DNA has been programmed this way. Have you ever had a kid in your life and you want them to try something new to eat and they're like, nope, I don't like it. And you're like, you didn't even try it. They're like, I just don't, I don't like it. We are literally programmed and predisposed to not like change because it used to keep us safe. You guys, it used to keep us safe back in the day when we wanted to like, Oh, don't go over that mountain. There may be dinosaurs that will eat you. Who knows? Right. So, so for, for a while there, it kept us safe. And then it started to be used as a way to kind of marginalize and oppress us. 
Well, if these people just think this is how it is and this is where they have to stay and this is what they do, they will never break out of these chains and we can just keep staying on top and using them like kind of like the enslaved mentality. Like you're you may not be an enslaved human anymore, like by law, but many people are still very enslaved by the programming that was created and the in the way we continue as a society to reinforce this very subtly. And so we have been taught and programmed and the world keeps telling us over and over again that change is scary. I know I love that, Sherry, right? Put your desires out there and it will come even if in another lifetime. It never ends. We just keep on going, guys. But we've been told that's not what happens. We've been told you have one life to live and then you die and it's all over. And so you better go. Not true. But it's a great way to keep you enslaved as a human to keep hustling and hustling and trying and trying and chasing and chasing and chasing and really not ever getting there because you're also programmed to be so scared of change that you'll never actually do the things that shift the entire energy and make things happen for you. I mean, like whoever created this, they were smart in keeping us on the hamster wheel and fueling them. And you see it now politically. You see it all over the place. Nobody wants the change. You see it with the uproars of people still wanting to go back to the freaking 1950s where women stayed at home and we all were men, women, and like, just followed the rules and looked a certain way and acted a certain way. Oh, change. We don't know what it looks like. Well, what, what does that mean? What does it mean if, if people aren't technically a man or a woman? I, I don't know. My brain doesn't understand. What does that, what does that mean? What does that look like? Warning, warning, warning outside of my box. Oh wait, everybody having access to money and everything they need. Oh, I don't know. Warning, warning, warning. That doesn't look like what I know. And so a lot of times guys, we are actually stopping ourselves and not having good things happen in this world for us that would help us because it actually looks so different than what we're used to seeing. And it's sending warning signals up that aren't real, that are just programmed in us. And it happens in our, in our personal lives daily. You want these things to happen and you're like, okay, I know it means I need to make this decision and do this thing, but you don't do it because you don't know what's on the other side of it. And that's so scary to you. And so something I've gotten comfortable with my life and some, and a reason why I continue to grow, which is actually really funny because if you look at like all of my astrology and all of my human development, and all of my stuff like this, I'm very dual sided. Like part of me like loves change and loves the newness, but also part of me is like terrified of change. And it's actually something I'm on a journey in this life to really get comfortable with change because I actually do crave it. And I actually think a lot of us are like that. I think that that's kind of a base of human almost in a way that we crave change and we crave newness and we crave expansion. But we also have this piece of us that kind of anchors us down like a freaking ball on a chain that says like, oh, change. And I believe that we're really being asked to let go of that ball and chain. We're really being asked to become a different type of human, a human that's more embracing of change and transformation. And so that's what we're going to work on a little bit and do a little bit of wrap and relief technique work on today. So if you are not familiar with the wrap and relief technique, it is a form of tapping. It is different than the other forms of tapping out there. So if you're used to EFT or TFT or whatever you use, this one's a little different. We don't use all the same points and we speak a little bit different. We really get down and dirty with our words. Why? Because all of those thoughts, all of those fears, all of those things, they're in you. Ignoring them, picking a better feeling thought, trying to calm yourself, isn't doing anything other than pushing them down further in you. And so you might not be consciously aware of them, but the fact that you're not doing the things you want to do, the fact that you're still not getting the things you want in life, ding, 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 means they're still there. 
they're still there and we need to get down to them. And how we do that is through the tapping, which sends vibrational signals through our body to remove the deep seated stuff in there, as well as calm our amygdala so that we feel safe to actually feel. And then we say the things that we really want to say, the things that are scary to us, the things we don't say, the things the world's told us we shouldn't say or think about, because then we actually get them out of our bodies and then we can actually replace them with the things we want to happen. So it's a really powerful technique. It is a technique that goes all the way down to the DNA level, because at the end of the day, guys, it's not your thoughts that run your show. show, It's your DNA that runs the show. And the DNA is actually controlled by your emotions. Want to change your DNA? Want to change your epigenetics? You need to emote. I know, weird, right? Weird. But that's how humans evolve. We don't, we haven't really understood this. Hey, you human has discovered this, that this is how we evolved. And we've watched people massively evolve via the emotions. But we're scared of our emotions because the whole world has told us that emotions are scary. You don't want them. Try to feel better. And at the end of the day, that's just kept us stuck. So it's time to start changing that. So my beautiful humans, it's very simple. You tap with decent pressure through the points. Just follow along with me and just repeat after me. And don't worry that you're going to attract bad things to you by saying these things. If they don't resonate, they will literally just go through your body and out of your body. But likely they will resonate. And often you won't even, you'll be like, what? Why am I having emotions around this? Just let it flow, guys. The more honest and open and vulnerable you can be right now, the better. Let your brain shut off. Say it now. Brain turning off. Turning off my brain. I'm coming back to my body. Sometimes it can help to close your eyes as you repeat after me. Feel free to cry, feel free to yell, feel free if you have a whole memory to come up to stop even saying what I'm saying and go down a whole tangent and come back and watch me later. This will be in the app later. So let's just start. Just repeat after me. Ah, I want so much. I want so many things to change in my life. Like wanting more money or wanting a new job or wanting somebody to support me or wanting new clothes or a new car. There's all these things superficially that I want to change. And they don't show up. Because I don't really want things to change. I want these things just to show up. But I don't want to have to change for them. And I don't want my life to change. It's scary. It's really scary. Change is really scary. It feels really scary in my body. And I want you to just take a moment and close your eyes and feel where that change feels. I don't want things to change. I don't want things to change. Change isn't good. I remember being a little kid. And they're always being changed. Friends changed. Schools changed. I couldn't depend on so much. My parents even changed. Sometimes they were so excited to be with me. And sometimes they weren't. It was really confusing. It was really confusing. I just wanted consistency in my life. I just wanted to know what was happening next. 
And I never did. I never do now. I mean, look at the fucking world right now. Look at it. I never thought there'd be something like a pandemic. I never thought the world would shut down like it did. As much as I say, oh, we got through it. That was scary. Not because of necessarily what happened, but because of how big that was. Something I never thought would happen, happened. And it changed the entire world. It rocked our foundation. And now it's a mess. I look at our world and it's a mess. Why can't we just go back to how it was? Why can't we just go back to how it was? Every time change happens in my life, something bad happens. Every time. God, I just want things to be consistent. It's so scary to be human. And I want you guys to just take a moment and go back to just when you were born. And I know this might sound kind of weird to people who are new to us. But I want you to just visualize you coming into the world. And if you don't know your birth story, it doesn't matter. I just want you to see a baby being born. And I want you to feel into this baby. This baby was just born. And oh my God, it's so scary here. I was in this nice, warm, comfortable environment. And I liked it. And now everything's changed. Everything's changed. And it's bright and it's cold and it's scary. And close your eyes if you can. It's bright and cold and scary. And I don't know these people. I don't know if they'll keep me safe. I was safe. And then everything changed. And now I'm not. When things change, I'm not safe. When things change, I'm not safe. I want things to change, but they never change how I want them to. It always gets messed up. Bad things always happen. Always. Bad things always happen to me. Bad things always happen to me. Bad things always happen to me. Happen to me. It never works out for me. It never works out for me. I knew it. I knew it would never work out for me. Even if things change, they never change for the better for me. And so I've stopped. I've stopped trying to change things. It's just safer to stay the same. It's just safer to stay the same, to never take the risk, to never do the thing, because then I don't have to worry about change and failure and disappointment, because I always disappoint somebody. I always disappoint somebody. 
And I always disappoint myself. I always let myself down. I say I want these things. I say I'll change. But then I don't. And either do other people. People don't change. I don't change. Everything just stays the same. And it's so fucking boring. It's so stupid. This whole existence is so stupid and menial. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I let everybody down. And I let myself down all the time. Because I'm just so scared of changing. I'm so scared to change. What if I change and nobody likes me? And that happens. Every time I grow, every time I change, people get mad at me. Every time I try to be fully me, I lose people. They don't get me. They don't understand me. So I'm scared to change. What if everything changes? What if everything changes? What if everything changes? What if everything changes? That's so scary. What if everything changes? I can't do it. What if I lose it all? What if I lose everything? What if I get what I want, but I lose everyone and everything in the process? What if it all changes and I don't like it? What if it all changes and I don't like it? What if it all changes and I don't like it? What if I lose? What if I lose? What if I lose people that I love? What if I lose everything that I have? What if I mess it all up and it's worse? God, what if it all changes? And what if it all changes for the worse? I'm so scared of all of this. I'm just so scared. I'm just so scared. And I don't want to do it. I'm so scared to do it. And I don't want to do it. I don't want to do all these things I need to do to get the things I want. I don't want to. I don't want to. Because I'm so scared. I'll get everything I want and everything will change. Okay, go ahead and take a deep breath for me. But what if change is good? What if I can actually only gain? And remember, if you still have emotions around this part, that's okay. What if things only get better for me? It can be this good. It can get better. It can get better and better for me. I get to have what I want. 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 Okay, go ahead and take a deep breath in. Stretch out those arms. 
If you still have emotions coming, keep going through this. You guys, the thing we do with emotions that is the most detrimental for us is we stop them. We get sick of feeling them. We feel like it's been enough. We feel like we should be over this. We run from them instead of embracing them and understanding them and experiencing them. That is how emotions work for a human. And so if you feel like you need to yell, if you feel like you need to scream, if you feel like you need to pound your fists, do it. It is normal. It is human. It is not of lower intelligence. It is not of being a savage. It is human. And you were meant to do this in childhood and you were meant to understand this, but you were not given the chance. Instead, you were told to stop. You were told to conform. You were told to become something that we are not, which is physical beings devoid of feeling. And the more we don't feel all our emotions when we need to feel them, the more they sneak out in icky ways. And then we reinforce that feelings are bad, but they're not. And so feel, you guys, when something happens in your life and you just want to cry, cry. When something happens in your life and you are just so mad, excuse yourself and let yourself be mad and get it all out and use the tapping so you get to the core of it. Because most of what's happening is just on the surface level. The deep stuff is coming from when you were born, when you were two, when you were six, and you made these core ideas in your head that you that change is scary, that bad things happen to you, that you disappoint people, and you've let those vows and those understandings rule your life because they are imprinted in your DNA. And they run the show. And so how do we change that DNA? How do we change how we're experiencing our lives now? We have to go back and fully experience those moments emotionally that we never did. And then everything changes. So how was that for you guys? Did you feel, did you let some stuff out? If you're still not feeling and it's having you know trouble getting out, it takes time sometimes. It takes a moment. If you're able to get into our paid membership, I highly recommend it because it will walk you through step by step how to start cracking into there. Letting this stuff out. And then I want you guys to really understand this. And I want you to hear this as I say this to you. You literally can lose nothing in this world. Things are going to change. Always. Just like you look outside and you see the surface of the earth changing, the weather changing, the sky changing, the trees changing, everything evolves and changes. We are in an always changing, always evolving bubble known as earth. So why we think Everything else around us wouldn't change is absurd. Why we think that we should follow things that have been done tens of thousands of years ago and have to stay with the same people and do the same things over and over again is absurd. And it makes us feel disconnected and stuck and yuck. And sometimes we need to let go of a lot of things in our life. And this is the scary part for us, letting go. We think bad things are going to happen and keep tapping on that. I'm so scared to let go. 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 What happens when I let go? What happens when I let go? I might lose everything. I might lose people I love. I'm so scared to let go. I'm so scared to let go. I don't know what it's going to look like. But you know what? It only gets better. And this is the truth. When we start letting go and making space, it only gets better. You can only gain, guys. In this world, we can only gain, but here's the caveat, as long as we're feeling our emotions. 
We often make changes in our life physically, but we don't do the emotional work. We keep stuffing down the emotions. And so we actually never make space. And so it seems to still keep being harder, like we're always climbing the mountain. The key to change and the key to always gaining is feeling. And we don't like to feel during change because it can be some heavy stuff. We often see people differently. We often see situations differently. It's like a our rose-colored glasses are taken off. And we often see it and it hurts us, you guys. Some of the people and friendships and experiences in my life when I've had to let go have, have been a lot of deep grief. Not long. Honestly, 20 minutes. And then you see that these people and these situations were exactly what you needed in that time of your life. But it was time to let them go. And it doesn't mean people leave your life. It doesn't mean people, situations never happen again. It just means that it's going to change. Most of you still run away from your emotions, the messiness and the intensity. And we do as humans because we have been told it's bad. It's not, guys. The emotions, the messiness, the intensity is the beauty of this realm. And when you allow yourself to feel it, your life becomes motherfucking magical. Magical. If you feel stuck, if you feel like meh in this world, it's because you're avoiding the emotions and the messiness and the intensity. And we are all out in this world chasing that, chasing that feeling of euphoria through vacations and buying stuff and milestones when you don't need any of that. You don't need any of that to have the greatest kick-ass, insane, amazing human experience if you allow yourself to fully live it. And to fully live it, you have to fully feel it. And it's intense and it's beautiful and it's overtaking. But then it allows you to feel more joy, more pleasure, more happiness than any human out there is feeling right now. And it doesn't require money and it doesn't require anything. And then all of a sudden those things show up. They come easily and effortlessly. Don't let the world trick you guys. Don't let the world keep you on this hamster wheel. The answer, your salvation is in you. It's in your emotional intensity and expression. So start making peace with that. Start knowing that you can handle it. You can handle your big emotions, friends. They will not kill you. Only you can kill you. FYI, your emotions will not. They will not. You will not get lost in them. The only time you get lost in your emotions is when you stop feeling them. And if you need help with this, you guys, we have a plethora of support in our paid community, in our freed community. We have one-on-one -on -one support with our certified human developers that are very, very affordable. You're not alone on this journey, you guys. You are not alone. You never have been and you never will be. So if you need help, if you need support, if you need somebody to hear you and hold you, let us be that for you. If you feel like your life's been stagnant and you feel like something needs to give, let it be your first step just posting in the app about what's going on in your life and where you need support and understanding and love. That's how we start changing, guys. We have to come back to ourselves and to each other. There's a reason why one of Hey You Humans taglines is finding the you and your human in the unity in humanity. 
It's time. Yeah, exactly. A lot of times when we let go of the desire and the timeline for it and the need for it now, it shows up. But usually we can only do that after we process a bunch of the ego emotions around it, around feeling like we're disappointing people, around feeling like we're not good enough. This human world keeps us small, guys. But you're not small. You are all powerful, incredible, amazing human beings that deserve to have the best time here. So I encourage you to start understanding your humanness better, to start feeling, to start allowing, and to stop judging yourself. Emotional intelligence is not about not reacting. Emotional intelligence, the way we teach it, is about noticing, holy shit, I have a big reaction here. Not spewing it on a person, but taking the time to actually go react and feel it fully and understand it fully and allow it to overtake you. Emotions are not meant to be experienced. Emotions are not meant to be understood. Emotions are meant to be motherfucking felt. Felt fully overtaking us, emerging ourselves in the emotion. And most of us are terrified of that. We just try to experience it, acknowledge it, see that it's there, understand it. Emotions are meant to be felt, full body, overtaking, not even making sense like a crazy person felt. And that scares people to death. But it is the most liberating incredible, amazing thing you can do for your human. But please do not take it out on other people. Either do it alone or do it with us. The healy, healy, feely people over here. And join us every week for this weekly wake up, guys, because this is your space to start getting comfortable with emotions, with feeling your emotions, that knowing it's okay. It's going to take a moment for some of you. Some of you have been here for a long time and you're like, all right, you like put your hair up. You're like weekly wake up. Let's go get it out of my body. And some of you maybe have been doing this for a year and it's still scary to you. But the more you do it with us, the more you see other people here feeling, the more you see me saying it and feeling, the more your body and brain is going to know it's okay to feel. It's okay to heal. It's okay for things to change in my life. I'm going to be okay. And it's only going to get better and better and better. Okay, guys, as long as you allow yourself to feel, it might be messy for a moment. But then it starts to get better and magic starts to happen. And life starts to unfold for you. You can do this. I believe in you. My whole team believes in you. All of Hey You Human believes in you. And go invite your friends. Don't forget, if you know somebody who is struggling, somebody who feels stuck, you're enjoying this, you're knowing that coming live here really helps, invite somebody to come with you next week. Because more and more people need this. The world needs this. The world needs a space where we can all come together and just get it all out. And stop trying to pretend and stop trying to be these people that we aren't. And just let our hair down. Let our tears out. Let it all out and come together and hug each other and support each other and and remind ourselves that we got this. We motherfucking got this, you guys. We're going to be okay. I know the world is crazy right now. I know it seems like what the hell is happening, but we are going to be okay. Every single one of us, we are going to be okay. We're going to get through this. It's a ridiculous time right now, but we're going to be okay. You're safe. You're loved. You are wanted. You are seen. You are heard. You are understood. And I am so happy you are here. And so is everybody else in this community. So thank you guys for being here. Thank you for doing this work. This is 
the most important work of our lifetimes. You are changing your life and you are changing the world in every moment that you continue to get this out of your body and come back to yourself. So I love you guys. Have a beautiful rest of your week. Again, if you are not in our paid membership, come check it out. It makes this process a lot easier, a lot more fun with friends. We're in there daily, all sorts of good stuff. And otherwise, I will see you guys back here next week for our weekly wake up. I love you guys. You're amazing. Off you go. Bye.